Michelle Jewsbury is the founder of a nonprofit group called Unsilenced Voices. She's also the author of a new book titled, But I Love Him, Welcome. If people don't speak up about what's happening, then the cycle continues. My name is Michelle Jewsbury, and I'm the founder of Unsilenced Voices. Unsilenced Voices is a nonprofit organization, and our focus is on domestic violence victims and survivors. We encourage victims to get out of the situations that they're in and help survivors recover from what they've endured. In America, Unsilenced Voices provides direct financial grants to survivors for housing, food, childcare, legal, and medical needs. We are also in the midst of a nationwide tour called A Blanket of Hope, bringing on-site assistance to survivors and education for communities about building a safer world. In Africa, Unsilenced Voices hopes group sensitization trainings for sex workers and other survivors, counseling them to value themselves and imagine a life free from abuse. We also fund small business loans for women to start their own businesses and raise their own farms. We provide job skills and market training for women to gain financial independence. We want to say many thanks to Unsilent Voices. Where they are not able for loan with the woman then at this community. For loaning us the women in this community. We are not able to nap now for we self. We are able to stand for ourselves as independent women. We are able to pay school fees for our children now. We can be able to pay fees for our children now. Then we are able to do small, small business. And this money you have given us to us is used to make business. Now we are able to stand strong in the community. So now we as women are strong. Unsilenced Voices proudly accepts cryptocurrency donations thanks to the Giving Block, and we are minting NFTs of artwork by survivors in Sierra Leone to earn income for their schooling with help from Jetset Token. Here's how the NFT art competition works. First, five young women in Sierra Leone, all domestic violence survivors, drew or painted a picture of what freedom or independence looks like to them. Then the girls chose this watercolor painting as the winner because it represents unsilenced voices embracing gender-based violence survivors with love, warmth, and the power of life-changing skills and livelihood. Next, we'll convert the winning drawing into an NFT and sell it on OpenSea with the help of Reiko Media and Jet Set Token. NFTs and cryptocurrency offer people in developing countries an opportunity to earn income outside of their country's traditional ecosystem. My name is Venma Tusenge. I'm the winner for this competition. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you on Silence Voices for giving me this opportunity to showcase my talent. I'm looking forward to continue with you. Thank you so much. I'm happy for the prize you gave me. What are some last words of wisdom? Dream big. I eventually grew up in this domestic violence situation where the help wasn't given to my parents. I just wanted to tell you how invaluable your work is on domestic violence and, and how much I believe in your cause and am committed to it. My name is Marlon Greenwood, uh, Vice President of the NFL Alumni Las Vegas Chapter and CEO of the Marlon Greenwood Foundation. And I want to talk about my support to Unsilenced Voices event coming up. So many times you put other people first and you put yourself last. And you're telling yourself a story that it's selfish to put yourself in first position. But when you put yourself in first position, you are more filled and fulfilled to help other people. So many bad decisions. I had so many toxic relationships. I was in a very, very abusive relationship for almost three years in my country. He's the former Attorney General of Nevada. Please give a warm welcome to George Shadows. And I've always believed that leaders don't run from challenges, they run at them. The key to that is 
people helping people, like Michelle is doing here. And that's why I'm here, because I support Michelle and what she's doing and the mission that she's on. It's about how we collectively can impact people, and that's what we're doing. So my name is Rob Noah. Sometimes in life you have to pay attention to why people cross your life. And what are your plans and goals for this trip while you're out here? Start a movement. 